By repeating this test, you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to pass the DMV written test confidently in just one attempt. iQuist Theory wishes you the best of luck on your upcoming DMV written test. Wearing a headset or earplugs in both ears while driving. A is a safe driving habit. B is understandable in certain situations, such as loud traffic. C is against the law in California. It is against the law to wear a headset or earplugs in both ears while driving. This should signal to you how dangerous driving with headphones really is. By limiting your hearing, it's possible to drive completely unaware of vital audio cues, such as horns honking, and the sirens of police officers and emergency vehicles. You're also much more likely to be distracted while behind the wheel. What is the purpose of a blind spot when referring to driving? A. It allows vehicles to merge into traffic smoothly. B. It is an area around your vehicle that is not visible in the mirrors. C. It provides a safe space for parking on the side of the road. A blind spot is an area around your vehicle that is not visible in the mirrors. It is important for drivers to be aware of their blind spots and check them by turning their heads to look over their shoulders before changing lanes or making maneuvers. Failure to check blind spots can result in collisions with vehicles. What is the purpose of a traffic citation? A. To reward safe drivers and issue driving licenses. B. To notify individuals of traffic laws. C. To address violations of traffic laws. The primary purpose of a traffic citation is to address violations of traffic laws. A citation is another word for a ticket. It is not a reward for safe driving, but rather a legal notice that informs individuals about their infraction and prompts them to take appropriate actions, such as paying fines or attending traffic school. California's basic speed law says, asterisk required. A. You should never drive faster than posted speed limits. B. You should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. C. The maximum speed limit in California is 70 miles per hour on certain freeways. California has a basic speed law that states no person shall drive a vehicle upon a highway at a speed greater than is reasonable or prudent having due regard for weather, visibility, the traffic on, and the surface and width of, the highway, and in no event at a speed which endangers the safety of persons or property. Car tires must have a minimum tread depth of a. at least 4 30 seconds of an inch b. at least 1 30 second of an inch c. at least 2 30 seconds of an inch The requirement of 230 seconds, approximately 1.6 millimeters, of an inch is consistent with the height of the treadwear bars built into passenger car tires sold in the United States. When it comes to safety, your tires are literally where the rubber meets the road. Sufficient tire tread depth is necessary for safe turning, braking, hydroplaning, acceleration power, and fuel efficiency. Who is responsible for reporting a collision with injuries to the DMV? A. All drivers involved. B. Only the driver at fault. C. Law enforcement. All drivers involved in a collision with injuries are typically responsible for reporting the incident to the Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV. This responsibility is not solely on the driver at fault or law enforcement. It extends to all parties involved in the accident. When is it legal to use a cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A. When making a call for emergency assistance. B. Never. C. When making a call while stopped at a red light.
In California, you cannot use a cell phone or similar electronic communication device while holding it in your hand. You can only use it in a hands-free manner, such as speaker phone or voice commands, but never while holding it. Any driver under the age of 18 is prohibited from using a cell phone for any reason. Backing your vehicle is A. Dangerous if you have a helper. B. Always dangerous to do. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. It is always dangerous because it is hard to see what is behind your vehicle. Whenever you need to back up or back out of a parking space, follow these rules, turn and look over your right shoulder when backing out the vehicle. Do not depend only on using your mirrors. Which of the following is true about double parking? A. It is illegal unless you wait in the vehicle. B. It is allowed if you are making a delivery. C. It is illegal under any circumstances. In most jurisdictions, double parking is illegal under any circumstances. It can obstruct traffic flow and create safety hazards, making it necessary to be prohibited. It is not allowed even if you are making a delivery or if you wait in the vehicle. The road surface in a carpool lane is marked with A. A solid white line of triangles B. Double solid yellow lines C. A diamond symbol The road surface in a HOV lane is marked with a diamond symbol and the words carpool lane. Do not cross over double solid lines to enter or exit an HOV lane. Use designated entrances and exits. Passing another vehicle on the right on an unpaved shoulder is always allowed if your speed is 20 miles per hour or less. B. Never allowed. C. Only allowed to avoid traffic congestion. Never drive off the paved or main traveled part of the road to pass. You should signal continuously while turning, because it A. Is always unsafe to turn off a signal, before completing a turn. B. Is illegal to turn off your signal, before completing a turn. C. Let other drivers know what your intentions are. You should always signal when turning, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping so that other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians will know your intentions. Which sign means divided highway ahead? None of the signs. Sign A. Sign B. The divided highway ahead sign is a traffic sign that warns drivers they are approaching a section of the road where the lanes will be divided by a median or barrier. The purpose of this sign is to alert drivers that the current undivided road will soon split into two separate roadways. When you see this sign, it's important to prepare for the upcoming change in road configuration. What piece of information from your driver license record is completely confidential? A records on your physical or mental condition. B. Your gender. C. Your mailing address. Records on your physical or mental condition remains confidential unlike other parts of your records like gender or address, which may be viewed by the public or authorized agencies. When should you use your vehicle's hazard lights? A. When approaching a stop sign or traffic signal. B. When parked on the side of the road. C. When driving in heavy rain or fog. Hazard lights, also known as emergency flashers, should be used when your vehicle is parked on the side of the road. They alert other drivers to your presence and indicate that your vehicle is stationary and potentially obstructing traffic.
It is important not to use hazard lights while driving as it can confuse other drivers. What is the significance of signing a traffic ticket after a citation? A. It is a promise to appear in traffic court. B. It is a promise to pay a fine. C. It is an admission of guilt. If you are stopped by a law enforcement officer and cited, ticketed, for a traffic violation, you sign the ticket as a promise to appear in traffic court. If a law enforcement officer suspects you of DUI, what tests can they ask you to take? A. A vision or hearing test. B. A breath, blood, or urine test. C. An intelligence test. DUI is abbreviation for driving under the influence, the crime of operating a motor vehicle while being affected by alcohol or other drugs. If you are arrested on suspicion of drunk driving, you will be placed into a police vehicle and taken to the nearest police station or jail, where you'll be photographed and fingerprinted. In some states, you can be released immediately if someone comes to jail, pays your bail, and drives you home. Other times, you may have to stay in jail until you can see a judge who decides when you can be released. What is the purpose of a rumble strip on the side of a roadway? A. To mark the boundary of a bike lane. B. To discourage speeding by creating noise and vibration. C. To alert drivers of a sharp curve ahead. Rumble strips are raised or grooved sections of the roadway surface that create noise and vibration when driven over. The purpose of rumble strips is to alert drivers who may be veering off the road or into another lane due to fatigue or inattentiveness. They also help to discourage speeding by providing a physical and auditory warning to slow down. Why is it important to avoid driving near collisions, especially if there are injuries? A. To gather information for insurance purposes. B. To prevent further injuries and help emergency responders. C. To get a clear view of the incident. Avoiding driving near collisions is crucial, especially if there are injuries. This helps prevent further harm to those involved and allows emergency responders to reach the scene faster without road blockages. Prioritizing the safety of those in need is a responsible and compassionate approach to handling such situations. Dim your high beam headlights to low beams within which feet when a vehicle is coming towards you. A 500. B 300. C 200. If you are driving with your high beam lights on, you must dim them at least 500 feet from any oncoming vehicle, so you don't blind the oncoming driver. You must use low beam lights if you are within 200 to 300 feet of the vehicle you are following. What can you do to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning? A. Keep windows closed at all times. B. Leave vents closed when idling. C. Have your vehicle's exhaust system checked regularly. Have a mechanic check the exhaust system of your car or truck every year. A small leak in the exhaust system can lead to a buildup of carbon monoxide inside the car. Never run your car or truck inside a garage that is attached to a house even with the garage door open. In what situation is it acceptable to park in front of a driveway? A. If it is a driveway in a residential district. B. In no situation. C. If no one uses the driveway. California Vehicle Code 22500 makes it illegal to park your car where it blocks public or private driveways. It is against the law to obstruct a driveway in the U.S., even your own driveway. Public safety is at stake because emergency vehicles like fire engines, ambulances, 
or police cars need room to pull in and out. What action should you take if you encounter a vehicle with emergency flashers ahead? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Honk your horn to alert other drivers. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. If you see a vehicle with emergency flashers ahead, the recommended action is to slow down and proceed with caution. This indicates there may be a collision or road emergency, and approaching with care helps ensure your safety and the safety of others on the road. When must you stop at a railroad crossing? A. When you see a yield sign. B. When the crossing has a crossbuck sign. C. When red warning lights flash. When you see flashing red warning lights at a railroad crossing, you must stop and wait until the lights stop flashing. A curb painted blue means temporary parking is allowed if you wait in the car. Parking is for disabled persons with a plaque card or plate. Parking is allowed for disabled persons without a placard. Parking is for disabled persons with a plaque card. This sign is a warning that you are approaching. A. A railroad crossing. B. An intersection. C. A crosswalk. Rail crossing ahead. The advance warning sign is usually the first sign you see when approaching a highway rail intersection. The advance warning sign advises you to slow down, look and listen for a train, and be prepared to stop if a train is approaching. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's a knowledge, beat judgment and physical coordination. See right-of-way privileges. A driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. You are about to make a left turn. You must signal continuously during the last feet before the turn. A 90. B 100. C 80. You should signal at least 100 feet before you turn so the other drivers can be ready. Check your vehicle's turn signals often to ensure they are working properly. It is a very windy day. You are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway, reducing your visibility. You should decrease your speed and turn on your A parking lights B headlights C interior lights Drivers must use their headlights any time conditions prevent them from seeing other vehicles. Conditions with lowered visibility include dust, clouds, rain, snow, smoke, or fog on or near the roadway. Before returning to your original lane after passing another vehicle, you should A. Flash your headlights B. Beep your horn C. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror When passing is permitted, look for both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. Only then may you safely return to your original lane. Regulatory signs are A. Yellow B. White C. Green Regulatory signs inform drivers of specific laws that must be obeyed. Displayed laws may be about traffic direction, lane use, turning, speed, parking, or special situations. 
Regulatory signs are commonly white squares or rectangles with black, red, or green letters or symbols. What is the only medically proven method of removing alcohol or other drug combinations from your system? A drinking three cups of black coffee. Be giving your body time. See breathing in some fresh air for at least 20 minutes. Alcohol takes effect quickly and is slow to leave your system. Cold showers, black coffee, and exercise will do nothing to reduce a person's blood alcohol content, BAC. The only way to lower your BAC is to wait. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Your subscription is just a nice way to say thank you to us.